Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, positive, negative. They are always welcome apart from the insults. We don't take insults here, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. You know, guys, I'm still mourning and sometimes I just feel like I don't have the strength. Okay. <laughs> so forgive me. In my yesterday's video, people are asking me why my sound or my voice was a little bit low. Yeah, I'm still in that process, guys. So you just have to forgive me, okay? But we are together. Thank you so much for your support and love. I really appreciate you guys for always coming back to check on me, for always coming back to smile with me, to cry with me, and, you know, everything. Thank you so much, returnees, for always coming back again and again and again or to also check on me. Feel at home. New subscribers feel at home as well. Let's talk about everything that has been put on this table. Let's analyze together, criticize together, agree to disagree, disagree to agree, and learn if we have to. I mean, why not? Have you checked my store? Kindly do. Pick anything you feel that is good for you, guys. We have new things in the store. Hey, I haven't told you. Go and check it out. Now, let's go straight to Nyabuhanse because these streets are giving us these vibes. And definitely we expected these guys, right? I remember telling you from September to December to January to February, we'll be still here. So if you are getting tired of these streets coming in my comment section to tell me to do something else, please forget. 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 Leave us to do our work, guys. You know, there are some people in these streets, you know, sometimes I don't understand. You telling me what to do. Like, why can't you also do it on your channel? You feel like I'm not doing better. I'm not giving you what you want. It's okay. So many channels on this space, they have the content that you're looking for. Kindly, kindly allow me to do my job in peace. <laughs> allow me to do my job in peace. Okay. Let me just allow me to an analyze these things. Because this is what I feel better doing. At least for now, right now. Allow me to analyze. Allow me to agree with everything or disagree or whichever way I will choose to. Allow me to express my opinions. And I always say no insults here. I don't insult. I don't expect insults. It's so simple. Okay? We are simply analyzing the videos that have been put out publicly. It's so simple, guys. Let's not complicate this thing. I don't understand why some of us come out here to start complicating things, telling me other stories. Oh, Carol, see, you are this, you are this, you are not this. You are... Ah. If I'm not, it is okay. Go and do better on your channel. It's so simple, okay? If I have to learn, guys, just have to advise me, like, Carol, this is the way. I always leave my addresses on my, dis on my description box. My Facebook, my Instagram, you can inbox me. And maybe, maybe enlighten me on one or two or three things that you think that I can change, you know. If I need to change, guys, I need to change, you know. Just teach me. If you want to teach me, if you want to give me a master class, you're welcome. Just come over in my inbox. And But coming to bash me in my comment section, mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't allow that. Guys, Priya Shama, Priya Shama, Priya Shama, Marwa's friend who was assumed to be Marwa's ex-girlfriend, according to how Marwa was putting it. You know, Marwa has been drawing the line between him and Prishama, like in a way that they hid something. But according to the videos that they did in India together, Premier Shama had already, you know, drawn the line. Is it Sharma or Shama? <laughs> anyway, let me stick to Priya. So Priya had drawn the line. Priya came out clear and told Marwa, listen, I want you to be my travel buddy. It's so simple. There is nothing like a relationship or I'm, I'm not into it. Like if we can be friends, it will be better. You know, we can stay friends for a long time. But I don't know how Marwa used to pull this whole thing and, you know, it left people talking. And so Priya has come out to talk about this whole issue since it started we are talking something that is like almost a year now that happened before. And things have been happening. Priya has been listening to a lot of reactions, according to what she said. She's been listening to a lot of people talking about her 
and Marwa. And she's like, really? Anyway, she's been trying actually to focus. But today, she just said to come out and clear a few things out. Now, the first thing that we want to listen to Priya Shama talking about is how she wanted them to be friends. She said, we were just friends. All I wanted is us to be friends. Listen to this, guys. The situation was when uh, uh, Ma, I honestly have a lot of respect for Marwa before saying anything. I am... I, if you don't know, in every video and whenever someone asks me who's your favorite YouTuber, I would always say it's Golden Bankrupt. Uh, I used to watch him back in 2019 and uh, during lockdown and I used to be inspired, you know, to travel like him. And now I'm doing that. I feel so happy, you know. I just feel like I'm living what I used to imagine, living my dream basically. And the second uh, YouTuber would be Marwa. When, so whenever someone would ask me, I would always uh, pick these two names and Marwa has helped me a lot he has taught me a lot of things about YouTube I was not even I didn't even know what YouTube is and you know how people earn on this and a lot of stuff but um, I I never said that I never disrespected him or anything um, I always wanted to stay friends with him but uh, I don't know how this thing blew up and people started uh, linking me up with him because never ever in my video when I was in Goa with him or in Sri Lanka I you know I gave any for signals or you know I was uh, that I am interested in him or I like him like it was always and I have always since day one I have always just told him and whenever I would come uh, you know someone would ask me I've always said we are good friends and travel buddies and I that's what I was clear in my head and I told him so uh, I'm sure he also knew that I consider him as a travel buddy and friend and even after that if he wants to you know hang around me then um, uh, that means he knows what I'm what message I'm putting across that I just want to be friends and he has also decided the same thing so uh, then we uh, started vlogging. He taught me about uh, taught me about YouTube vlogs and everything. So yeah, and uh, later the thing blew up and it went out of proportion. People later when he went back to Africa and then he gave couple of interviews and he said he won't allow me to come to his village if I'm not his wife, you know, and um, and you know how it is so difficult for a girl who is from India. I mean, my family and relatives were asking me, but, but that's okay, I just let it go. I just told them, uh, you know what I said in the video and all of that. Um, there is nothing uh, from my side and I'm sure it is nothing from his side also because before leaving to Kenya, I made it clear that we will always be friends and friends. Now, I don't know how that thing grew up and people started making reaction videos linking up together. I didn't say anything to that because I don't believe in justifications and specifications there. So I just let it go. I just thought it is just fun and games. I mean just people are pulling his leg or my leg, whatever it is. Uh, but then I got to know later that um, people took it way too seriously and never ever have I said that I am his girlfriend or uh, I have any feelings for him or anything. Th like I am like this. Yeah, I am, I am friendly with whoever I meet. I mean, um, I don't know if you all have been watching my vlogs. I meet a lot of people and I like to be friends with all of them. Priya has opened up pretty pretty good like really opening up about everything that has been happening between him and marwa and some of the people who have been reacting on their videos and linking her to marwa as a girlfriend she has never been a girlfriend she has never even shown any sign of being a girlfriend and also people should understand where she comes from from the indian community how they do things and blah 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 this girl has been explaining things you know, I was like, wow, maybe this was the right time because when she came to Kenya, people were so much into thinking that this is Marwa's girlfriend. If you remember when she came to Kenya, 
Marwa said it on his video. Guys, you know what? I remember when he was talking to Paris in their living room. It was it in the living in the dining room when they were having lunch in their mom's home. He was trying to tell people that you know what, guys, prayers in Kenya, and maybe she will come. Maybe I don't know. I'll give her a call and blah 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 blah. Before Ivan came in. So at some point, Mar was trying to give out that impression. People are still thinking that, oh, this girl is still Marwa's girlfriend or what. That is the impression that Marwa gave. But according to this girl, she's saying, guys, guys, me, I made it so clear between me and Marwa. And also Marwa understood that way. And from that moment, when we decided that we are friends, he's, he's, he, he, he taught me how to do YouTube videos and doing the vlogs and everything about YouTube. He taught me all these things. But there's no way, there's no any other day that I showed Marwa that I want to be his girlfriend or anything. And she's saying that she travels a lot if you check on her videos. She meets a lot of people and there is nothing wrong with hanging with male friends according to what she is saying. She's trying to pull it that way, guys. Priya is also saying something. Maybe we should listen to this again. Let me uh, come to his village if I'm not his wife or anything. So that was a little surprising. So I just like, if I'm clear in my head that I think of him as a friend. And honestly, you know, you can't push or force someone or pressurize someone to like that person. I mean you should get attracted to that person if i'm not able to get attracted to him what can i do i mean i like him i admire him as a friend i mean he is so ambitious he's so adventurous so yeah and if he says that you know i have feelings for you and uh, you know you i consider you as no not just as a friend but more than friends now if i go to his village that means i'm consenting consenting sorry i'm giving consent that you know i agree to what you say and uh, you know for it would come across like he would think that i'm consenting after going there if i go and film a vlog or do something that will be something which would be considered as doing it for views like do you know that cloud chaser like someone said i'm a cloud chaser now if I go to his village and start blogging, hey, I'm in Marwa's village, that would be considered something as doing it for views. And I am, I honestly wouldn't want to play with anyone's feelings. And if I know that a person has feelings for me and I don't feel the same way, why would I want to play with his feelings by just going to his village? This girl is too way smart. Too way smart than Marwa. <laughs> According to what she's saying here, she's too way smart. She noticed that Marwa had feelings for her, but she did not have feelings for her. So why would she come to the village to start filming with Marwa? When Marwa, when he came, she had Marwa being interviewed and saying that if Priya wants to come to my village, she must know that she's coming to be a wife. And that is for sure. Marwa said that. And this is what she's saying here. Guys, it, it seems like sometimes we forget about the things that Marwa says a lot on this. You know, Marwa talks a lot. He talks a lot. You know, he can say something today. Tomorrow he says something else. The other day he's, you know, mixing everything together. And by the end of the day, you get lost. You just get lost because that's what he wants. And now this girl is too sharp to pick everything that Marwa has been saying, you know? She's really picking everything that Marwa has been saying and he, she's like, okay, if you say that I must be your wife to come in the village, then I had planned to come to Kenya. When I come to Kenya, let me do my thing. I don't want to come and start cloud chasing with you just for views and yet I know these are your feelings and I'm not into that game. I don't want to come and start playing with your feelings, knowing very well that I'm not interested. You are not attractive. That was her words. You know, if you are attracted and I'm not attracted to you, 
Why should we force things here? And people were coming for her that, oh, you see, you're hanging with Ivan. Oh, you see, Ivan is Marwa's friend. He was Marwa's friend and things happened between them. Why are you hanging with Ivan and stuff like that? And she's like, oh, guys, listen. These people were friends, but they're not, they're no longer friends. But that does not mean that I can't speak to the person I was talking to before. If you come out here and you tell me, don't be a friend to so and so and so and so. It means you are controlling me according to what she says. And yes, it's true. If we were three friends <laughs> or three or four friends and, you know, I don't talk to friend number one. Why should I come and start telling you, you also don't talk to the person? If you people had your issues, those were your issues on the other side. If I was talking to Ivan, by then, I will continue talking to Ivan. If we were planning to go and do videos wherever, wherever, we'll continue talking to each other. But people did not take it that way. People thought that Ivan came in to take Marwa's girl when she was not really Marwa's girl to start with. This girl had made it clear that they are just friends. So Ivan also came in knowing this girl's boundaries to Marwa. He knows this girl was not Marwa's girlfriend to start with, okay? And yet, I'm talking to her. We talk. We communicate to each other. We can do videos, you know? I'm still in Africa. I mean, why not? They start doing their own things. But you see, sometimes... Here on these streets, we start overthinking, this overthinking. We overthink, we overthink, we overthink. So that's why she came out to clear that. So listen to this, guys. Yeah, people calling me a traitor for, visit, for meeting Ivan. I mean, okay, if your friend does something that you don't support and uh, that friend has an enemy and uh, he says that you wouldn't talk to him otherwise I would dissociate myself with you I mean then that is not something that I believe in I mean tomorrow if my friend has 100 enemies uh, and he would ex have expectations he would expect me to stop talking to those 100 enemies then that's not fair like I if I am not in good terms with someone I cannot expect my friend to not talk to him Especially when that person has helped me. So when my when my number was leaked, Ivan was the person who helped me because I went to, I uh, texted Ivan to, you know, uh, and told him like I'm willing to pay whatever money it is, but just let that video go down because um, Lord, like I was getting a lot of calls and messages and it was like, you know, very disturbing for me at that given point in time. So I, and Ivan was someone who helped me at that point in time. He was conveying the message and he has always been good to me never ever he has you know shown any bad intentions or intent to do something bad to me he was uh, he you know he genuinely helped me to get out of the situation i was honestly disturbed for those few days because i used to get a lot of messages and calls so uh, so how can I not talk to someone who has helped me? So I would never force my friend to not talk to anyone who I am enemy with. Because, I mean, if he is in good term, if he is getting along with that person really well, then who am I to stop that person? That means I'm, you know, uh, uh, taking his or her freedom yeah like he has all the liberty in life to make his or her own decisions i am no one to stop him to stop talking to someone else oh, oh i understand if that person is my boyfriend or my fiance or my husband then it's a different thing but if i'm considering someone as my just a friend and that person is in good terms with someone who i'm not in good terms with I wouldn't force my uh, my thoughts on that person. He is free to do whatever he or she deems fit, like, you know, right, correct. So I don't know how that comes across as a traitor. I don't understand. So, yeah.
yeah i don't want to speak much on all of this is because it gets way too serious and um, yeah but i just wanted to tell you all i don't know why you all think that uh, why some people think that i i am a traitor or something you be in my position guys and you think logically i mean if tomorrow your friend comes up to you and tells you you stop talking to that person you otherwise i'll disassociate you or you stop talking with those 10 other boys whom you are talking to that means you're taking away that freedom from that person i am a 30 year old lady i am i'm working i am financially independent i at times i don't even listen to my family members when they tell me don't go to this place alone or something of that sort why would i want to listen to you like i if you are my if you are my fiance husband i completely understand you have you would have some rights on me but when you're just a friend of mine i would be like then that's not how friendship would be i i am not of that belief basically we priya priya has decided to open up big time big time you know you are just a friend you are not even my boyfriend you are not my fiance you are not my husband why will you come out to tell me that you should not talk to so and so when you know you are just a friend and he's only a friend you know why would you think that you can take away someone's freedom everyone is entitled to you know to do their own things to express themselves the way they want why would you want to come out oh my goodness priya is talking this message is just going straight to marwa she was actually talking to marwa sending this message straight to him Why would you think I'm a 30 year old woman uh, financially independent? Obla hey, this girl was really talking. I said, "Wow. Marwa, all the ladies you've been meeting, they've been showing you that this is the way to stay with people. This is the way you should be handling ladies." But Marwa just don't want to listen. He wants to be manipulative in a way. He wants to manipulate you, he wants to control you. You know? He wants to to take over your life he wants to be the one to tell you what to do when to do it and all these things oh my goodness this girl i think she felt somehow because you know when people came out here bashing her telling her things about Ivan she was like guys you don't know you think that i am marwa's girlfriend i'm not this is who i am and i cannot I cannot accept anyone to come in my life and start controlling me telling me don't talk to this person talk to this person you know if you don't talk to this person or if you talk to this person I will disown you and that is being so manipulative and this girl has been having this problem for a very long time it's only that when she came to Kenya this whole issue now blew out in a different way and she was like hey guys listen wait 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 let me tell you something this thing is not the way you people think i was in the comment section prayer people came for her even me at some point i thought that oh maybe this girl must have been a marwa's girlfriend i remember i also that did that video and people told me no caro forget about it <laughs> she made herself clear she told marwa listen Let's remain to be friends. Let's remain to be friends and that is it. Don't add anything on it. But every time Marwa is being interviewed, what does he say? She has to be a wife. She has to be a wife. And I'm like, why is he really forcing this girl? Why? I don't understand, guys. I don't understand. Is this how most people do? Is 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 it a sense of desperation or is it just showing people that I don't know, guys. Kindly let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I don't understand why Marwa had to come and do all these things. Anyway, guys, in other news, Marwa is receiving bales, mutumba bales. Mutumba bales for those who don't know is second hand clothes. Second hand clothes. There's this friend that came in with a very big bail of over 45 kilos. You know, this whole bail was containing over 21 duvets. How do you call it from your side? Duvets, duvets, duvets you know, these coverings. Over 
according to what this guy said, over 20 duvets. Why? Because the visitors would be coming for the party and they might not get enough coverings, you know, and the party is big, the party is huge. So this guy was thinking beyond the cement, beyond the cow, beyond, and Marwa said, guys, this is the kind of thing that I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want people who should be thinking beyond the cement. I want people who should be thinking be hey I was looking at Maro and said wow Is it because this guy came in driving a very nice car a very you know the German machine according to Mayugno eh? the German machine the Porsche you know containing this there's no way Maro can turn that person away just seeing that car alone. Hey, even the Virginia did the video on that car. He was admiring the car big time. Like, whoa, guys, we've got, yeah, we've got a rich, rich, rich visitor. This rich visitor explained in Marwa's video that the only job he does is to sell this mutumba, the second hand clothes. You know, the shoes, the, the duvets, the bed sheets, the clothes, the covering, the everything. That's what this guy said. So when Marwa asked him, can you now open up your heart and tell me what do you want from me? <laughs> that same, same question that he always asks everyone that goes there. Open your heart. Eh? This is your moment. This is your moment now. Open your heart. You have to tell us. Tell me exactly what you want. Hmm? And the guy was like, I can't lie. It's just a collab. <laughs> it's just a collab. I want your audience that's all I want. Tell your audience to come and subscribe to my channel. I only have 300 subscribers. Tell your audience to come and watch my videos. I want part of your audience to become my audience as well. That's what I want. So definitely, it is the duvets for collabos. Right now, we are talking about duvets for collabos. We are not talking about cows and goats and those things. And Marwa said, guys, I want people who are thinking beyond this. You remember the other guy came also, Steve, you know, talking about installing the Wi-Fi. Yeah? People are now thinking beyond the gods. He wants now big people. He wants big people who come and think and bring big things, you know? <laughs> eh? Maro is like, I'm bringing someone tomorrow to come and clean all these duvets. After that, I'm not giving any family member any of these duvets, nothing, nothing. All of them, when they're dry, they're going down there to my house. These ones are special for my visitors. I've been looking at this video. Guys, this is the latest video that Maraj released yesterday. I was looking at this video. I was like, wow. So, in short, you're trying to tell us that you want now more and bigger things now people should start bringing in maybe some more cars that will be fairing because they've talked about this also in that video that he needs the cars you know those safari kind of cars the one we go out with on a safari to be fairing the visitors you know you should at least donate a car that will be carrying the visitors from nyabohanse take them to a it's a banya border, you know, take them around, bring them back. Just give a car and a driver. Big things now we are talking about, guys. We are talking about big things. Now, let, let's forget about the goats and the cows. Hmm? This village visits with the cows. Mm -mm, those ones are enough. We'll buy more and add. Now, let's talk about big things. Bring in the cars, the big cars that can be carrying visitors around, you know, buses if you have to. Bring big things, guys. Bring big things. <laughs> the only thing you have to carry is your air mattress, big or maybe some small bed sheets because all the duvets are there big, big ones six by six. I don't know how you call it from your side. I don't know, king size, queen size bed, you know, those big, big ones. Eh? Things are happening in the village, yeah, guys. Check out this. Top surprise. German. Yeah, machine like German. This is a German. Porsche is American or is it's German? German? Oh, it's German. German. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, is a German machine. Man, so, we can still open a few. Yeah, so this is the idea. You get a 
They are up to around 20 something, man. But Ooh. shout out to everyone. Bro, you yeah. sorted me, man. Big time. I, big, you know. Yeah. Actually, something. They will wash them tomorrow, all day. I think I'll pay the lady who is washing. Yeah. Then we take them all of them to the villa from tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow I'm buying the first bed of the villa. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And this, I don't want them to stay in my in my yeah. mama's house anymore. These but are for no, my guests. There are many. You see, there are many. You yeah. can still share with your family. Oh, be but, but imagine if I have I have a big body camera. <laughs> yeah, I want to be sorted. See this one? Yeah. This one is six by six. Six by six, man. <laughs> yeah, how about you sorted? This is big. Then, oh. I don't know, man. God is great. I, I, you, God see, is, I, I, you know, know yeah. Like uh, sometime when a uh, blaze is coming, you don't it know. It can't, yeah, it's natural. But let me ask you one thing as we open this. Yeah. What is your biggest wish you'd want Marwa and my subscribers so, to support you? In? I'm a business person. Yes. And. Uh, I travel to. And this is your moment. Exactly. Don't don't hold even. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm a business person. Yeah. I travel to. Okay. And uh, I'd like to have a huge audience. Okay. In terms of uh, people to see what I do. Okay. People to know who I am. Yeah. So the, my essence of me meeting Maro, I yes. do. You see, in life you cannot have everything. Uh, there are things I do. Even me, I didn't have this. Yeah. There are things me. I do that, yes. is, that I don't have. Yes. Uh, there are things that I do, Mara doesn't have. Yeah, and so I told, I told myself, because I'm coming all the way to Nairobi, from yeah, Nairobi. And, and I was I was coming to check on my business around Marwa's place, yeah. I said, that will be the only opportunity for me to get to Marwa because I believe this guy, Marwa has the largest audience online. Yeah, Man is the best. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. And, 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 and your, your, guys, people, your people have been supporting the likes of Marwa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. now, guys, look at um, uh, Range Rover. Now, <laughs> look at Truti no, Marwa. Supporting yes. every, everybody who has come to visit you. Yeah, man. Even you, tremendous support. Guys, please, I don't even know how to say thank you. You can imagine how much stress it would have taken me to go and pick and choose. And the party will be coming very... Yeah. Next month. Yes. And here we have a brother who... A whole bay. We just yeah. opened it in yeah. front of you guys. And I want... Uh, let, let's go back and show them your your your, your <laughs> company, man. My company is not... Yes. So my and you have, you have Instagram or this? You yeah, want I have YouTube. Instagram. Which one do you no, like? No, no, no. I just want... I think YouTube. YouTube is the yeah. best because YouTube you can reach a, a lot of audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now because of this, uh, I'll give you. I save your uh, name. Yeah, call <laughs> <call you. call laughs> But you can save this. Uh, yes. Django Legacy. Django Legacy. That is his uh, company, guys. Car like Django. a house. Car oh. like a house. Imagine. <laughs> yes, Porsche. So my boss, I yeah. are going to okay. continue. Okay. But okay. thank you so much, my ah, brother. Yeah. I'm ah, going to yeah. talk to you. God bless you so much. Ah, yeah. God bless you. Yeah. This is a John Cena in land in the village. Okay. Guys, don't explain because body is not vegetable. <laughs> 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 that is my ugno for you. Guys, you see, it is John Cena has landed in Yabuhanze. John Cena himself, eh? The body is not like vegetable. <laughs> I don't understand this, my ugno sometimes. <laughs> But it's not like vegetable. Anyway, guys, that was the John Cena, according to what they're saying, the, the guy who brought the second hand uh, beddings for Mara. So they need to be cleaned up and then be prepared for the visitors who are coming in. So for the visitors who are coming in, if you're so much into second hand things, don't worry about that. You will definitely get that now. That means that I'm out of that party, guys. I don't do second-hand beddings. <laughs> I don't do. I don't do. I'm not bragging, but it is what it is, guys. Second-hand, I can do second-hand something else, but at least not the beddings. Mm -mm. Beddings are very sensitive things. <laughs> hey, you just have to invest in them so that you can have some very beautiful sleep without any allergies or anything, you know, or maybe overthinking or stuff, you know. Oh, uh oh. Anyway, guys, that is what is happening in. Yeah, Bohansi. So, as I had told you earlier, you have to, to think big right now when you're coming to the village. Think big. Think. Think big. When you're coming to check on Marwa, think big. Like, what do you think Marwa needs now that the villagers are coming in? Apart from the cement and the goats and the cows, what else do you think you should bring for Marwa? Eh? Maybe you should prepare beds. <laughs> <laughs> because he said he's going to prepare his first bed tomorrow. First bed. There's no bed there. Think about it. Can I give you more ideas, guys? Hmm? We have furniture. Furniture. <laughs> Can I give you more ideas now that the Wi-Fi is there? We need electronics, TV, fridges, those things. Hi! Hey! Guys, 
release your pockets, release your pockets and come and bless Maro in the village. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, uh -uh. I come in peace. I come in peace. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, okay? <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Hit on that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. Like this video and leave your comments down below. Keyboard reactors, you know what? I love you to the moon and back as always, as usual. Let's get down there and let's talk about everything that has been on this table. What else? Have you checked my store? Please do. Pick anything that you love. We have new things in the store as well. What else, guys, can I say? Thank you so much for coming here to support me and your love is just so overwhelming. Overwhelming. You people, you're just amazing. Let me tell you that for free. And I love you to the moon and back as usual. Guys, let's meet on the next one.